So, following Stephen Housen's FA Cup video, talking about how oh, if Man United win the FA Cup, I thought, you know what, let's just do a preview now, whilst we're in the car, Rio. First of all, I'm going to start off. Are you Stephen Housen? Do you think Manchester United will beat Man City to win the FA Cup this year, following all the performances that you've had? Based on what I've seen this season from both sides, Man City and Manchester United, I've got no confidence, I have to say. It's the first time I'm going into a, a, a cup final and for Man, with Man United and thinking we have a very, 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 very small chance of winning this game. Um, you always back to Man United just to say, you know, it's cup final, Man United are going to win this, so they've got a real good chance to win it. The, the, the gap between Man United and Man City now is as big as it's ever been. The fall off that we've had compared to them right now is huge. So, how can I, in my right mind, go into this game with any sort of confidence? Mm. Um, you have a puncher's chance, is that saying? Because we've got someone like Bruno, maybe, or Marcus Soganacho who can have a moment, an explosive moment. Remember Marcus's goal against them earlier in the season at Old Trafford. You, there are moments, what was it? Uh, it was Old Trafford, I think. But it, you, there are people that can do that. But then, can we keep them out for the rest of the game? That's I mean, you'd be sitting there on tender hooks. I'd be losing hair through the 90 minutes. Do you know what I mean? Beard going even greyer. But you, 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 you have hope. We're football fans. We sit there and we have hope, man. You, you had hope all season. You're a good example of that. Like hope, craziness, almost borderline nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have hope as a football fan, and that's how we live. But it's going to be an absolute like crazy effort. And a huge amount of luck and fortune, I think, for us to get anything out of this game. Does Ten Hag need this? I don't think it matters. I, don't, I, I honestly feel that it's gone too far now. I think that I, I think Ineos. I, I'd be surprised if Ineos keep Eric Ten Hag as a manager next season. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just, I just, there's something in me that's telling me that. I think he needs it for his career, because I yeah. think if he wins it. Mm. then he goes it's not me it's not my fault yeah, yeah. it's a bit like it's not the same as Ragnick but Ragnick coming in and he's only a part time mm. manager coach he can say it needs open heart surgery he says everything and you go look it's not me you know I, th I think Eric Ten Hard's looking at it and saying I've had this, that, so many injuries and I, I agree with him on that mm -hmm. and I support him on that and he'll go I've had so many injuries even saying that I won the FA Cup That'll be saving. That'll be his line yeah. to any new suitors if he was to be going out there looking for another job. But it's like Jose Mourinho, isn't it? He's yeah. lived off that. Yeah. I went there. I won the UEFA Cup. Yeah. I won the, you know, he finished second. League Cup, well, finished second. He had the quote when he said it was his biggest achievement. Yeah. It's yeah. almost kind of saved him mm. as he's gone around afterwards because mm. it's not been pretty for him. You know, well besides winning in Europe with Roma, but yeah, I think. For Ten Hag, he needs this, man. I think, listen, the fan base need it for Man United. The fan base are like walking around with tin hats on, getting peppered. Steve told me he's not going, you know. Yeah, there'll be loads of people like that that'll be thinking, I ain't got what to get embarrassed. That'll be a lot on a lot of people's mind. I've had people say that to me, I ain't going there, I can't be asked. Like, imagine what the score could be, could be quite embarrassing. People are going to go, no, I'm going to shy away. So, Steve, you can get a ticket, make sure you're there. It, it's just really hit me. As poor as you've been this season and trust me you've been poor how you've managed to get to a final mm, with Coventry that's how well yeah but you still you still got to get there yeah you still got to get there but we've played a team in the, from from division a division lower do you know what I mean so you look at it and you go okay a team that's come from a lower division and you're thinking well what better opportunity have you got if we fluffed that and we almost did by the way we almost fluffed our lines there took it to extra time unbelievable so not saying we blew him away but if it was any team of a better better quality we would have been out mm. and what does this do for Pep Guardiola I mean he's already won the league four times it's the first time that I'm seeing someone go into a cup final and it might not really make a difference winning the FA Cup here don't make any difference to his legacy but losing it could why do you a say a little that? bit because if he loses to this man, probably the worst Man United team we've seen in a long time finish eighth people go bloody hell what's going on Pep uh, it won't damage it but I mean it'll be more damage than it'll be more than, than, than good if he won it I think I don't know if damage is the wrong word yeah I, damage is the wrong word I just don't think he I think he wins it first of all but secondly even if he doesn't 
I just think what those guys have done is so great already. Oh, yeah, Who yeah. cares? Who yeah. cares? You know. So, final, final uh, score prediction, Rio. My heart says Man United on penalties, and we 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 limp to penalties. Yeah. But my head says they they're going to beat us. I can't give a score. I just think they'll I think they'll win. I got to be honest. They'll take it out of our hands. We won't even see the ball. Three one Man City. You think we score? That's 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 being nice, by the way. Wow. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm getting someone saying higher. Yeah, that's Roger. Well, that's Roger who's driving Shout us. And he supports Roger. Chelsea. He yeah. supports Chelsea. Five one. Five one's too much, man. Yeah, he supports Chelsea. He yeah. said they finished six and they got Europa League. How are you yeah. going to let the Chelsea fans who have had that season? That's what I'm chat saying. To you? See, the Chelsea fans have got a voice box now. When you're talking about Chelsea and Man United, when it, they shouldn't box? have. That's, uh, that's where we are. Who would they be without Palmer? Anyway, exactly. Rio, thank you very much. Um, and yeah, we'll, what, uh, what we'll a subdued FA Cup preview, a FA Cup final preview. It well, should never be like this, but this is where we're at, man. Yeah, I guess. I mean, we got knocked out by Liverpool and. We just yeah. lost the league, so... Yeah, you ain't got a trophy to yeah, talk about this we season. Don't. <laughs> we don't. Well, we've got the Community Shield. Uh, have you? Uh, yeah, we yeah. BC. Okay, well done. You know, we BC. I don't even remember how many Community Shields I won. I don't even count You're them. Joking. Count them. You're I joking. You're joking. I don't count them as trophies. Jose counts them. That's so true. does Latan. They, they, they can. I don't count them as trophies. You're joking. No, it's not a, it's not a real, real trophy, is it? Yeah, it is. It ain't. I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it's a real... Like an FA Cup where you've tr you've beat loads of teams to get there, and or a league where you've played thirty odd games a season to to get there, not just a game that you've uh, uh, like, that you get given to play in as a showpiece to start the season. But you don't get given to play in because you're you're there because you've done well in the previous season. Yeah, no, but it's, you're still given the opportunity it's, it's like, to win that. It's like saying something. it's like saying the Super Cup's not worth anything. Let yeah. us know what you think in the comments. Yeah. The Community Shield, oh. is it? A real trophy. The Super Cup is it a real trophy? I never had and a night why? out. I never had a night out celebrating with the lads after a charity shield win. That's because the league starts next week. No, but it just didn't. It wasn't one where you go, oh, let's get out and have a celebrate with it, and didn't even have loads of texts on my phone saying well done. That's how much it meant to me. Maybe you was on a rock network. I was on O2 them times. Yeah. Then, it? <laughs> remember O2? What was it? Orange. 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 Was gonna, you said remember O2 as if it's dead. O2's yeah, still about. Orange. Orange with um, with the old flip flip. Oh, yeah. The flip, really? Remember them? Ooh, oh, man. Dangerous. Can you imagine pulling up with one of those? Or the Nokia. Remember the long Nokia with the, the, the snake game on what, it? What, 3210? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> You know where we're going? This is where I was brought up, you know, Yellow Brick Estate, just around there. So you're joking, up, yeah. really? This is where I was brought up. This is my NZ. This is the best chicken and chip shop coming up on your left-hand side here called Katie's. It's not called Katie's no more, but this was the place to go. Look, Oh, it's Katie's! Oh, it's it's still Katie's. Katie's, look! I've been there before, you know. Bad, man. I've been there before. Best chicken and chips in the area. Yeah, and there's look. a pie mash shop on the right here. Manzi's in a minute. Oh, my gosh. What's this? The uh, the Stephen Lawrence. This is Stephen Lawrence Center. Old yeah. School, yeah. No, the Stephen Lawrence Center. Yeah. Pulse. This is Pulse. This was built when I just when I left the area. My picture used to be up over there, man. Really? Yeah. Anton was telling me that you have um, there's a name on mm. on a wall. Yeah. A plaque. What is it? A plaque. A plaque. You know, you get the freedom of the borough, innit? They put yeah. your name up. I got that. Yeah. That's incredible, man. This is my area, man. Around here. Got creams over here. Creams is new, man. Yeah, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit bougie around there now. Really? Yeah. I don't know about bougie. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, the prices have gone up around there, you know. Really? What? <sighs> Serious? I haven't, I haven't been to Peckham in We're a going, minute. Did, oh, over here, best pub in South. I reckon it's the best pub in London. Go on. I'm going to show you in a minute. You have to get it on the camera. And down there, 805s. Yeah, 805s. Have you been there? there? Come on, bro. E Eggy. Have you been there? Yeah, bruv. Come on, man. No way. I yeah. thought I didn't know. Nice food, man. I know you like food, but African I didn't... food, nice, yeah. lovely. Anton goes there a lot. Yeah, man. But it's nice. You people, I know, I know people it. that travel far and wide to go there, you know. Yeah. But this pub here, called the Peckham Prince. Oh yeah. 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 Best pub about. Welcome to Peckham. When was the last time you went there? Mm, probably a couple of months ago. Prince of Peckham here. Best pub. Look, look at it. Do you, know the, pub. Do, do you know the owners? Yeah. Uh, what's his name again? Oh, is it Femme? No, oh, what's his name? He's going to look through his phone. Through his name again. And do you know uh, when you were at West Ham? Yeah. Would you still come? Down there? I still yeah. lived there when I was at West Ham. No way. Yeah. 
what, for the entire time? Most of the time when I was at West Ham, I lived there. And then at the end of it, I was living in London Bridge. Oh, okay, uh, which I is not far. Bridge, I, bought, I bought Clem. Clem owns that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I bought a flat, and, but I still went back to my mum's house all the time. Yeah. I used to hang about down these back streets down there. But who do you think you are, Stormzy? Yeah, Storm, <laughs> Stormzy's always in Point Heath. And, yeah, no. I, really? st I still come come back. That my, some some of my mates still live down there. Yeah. I don't come here a lot. I, I'm not going to try and say that oh, yeah. I'm always in the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I come back down, down there every now and again. But mainly, like, there's just the food that brings me back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I go to Brixton quite a lot, to be honest with you. There's a nice place um, there called Uchi. Oh, Uchi's. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Also, the um, Caribbean shop across the road from the tube station. Um, oh, Where? Brixton? Okay. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck, man. How the heck can I forget? Oh, man. This is my cousin lived there, Queen's Road. My cousin lived along there. Really? Yeah. Anyway, nice, that's the tour of London done. Peckham. Rio takes us back through Peckham. We have to do an episode in Peckham one proper, day. You know yeah, a proper one. That'll be good, man. Mm. That'll be good. But Rio, thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Um, congratulations to Man City in advance. Thanks. Oh.